Alright, Ms. Silis here from uh, AQR, and I'm going to be doing an introduction to uh, recursive sequences. So you have to learn a couple of things. The easiest one to go ahead and start with is something called the Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series basically states that you start off with two different numbers, like 0 and 1. And actually, we usually do start with that way. I don't know if it started any other way. We add, to get the next digit, or the next number in the sequence, we add the first two, and then we continue. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Then to get the next one, we take the previous two um, numbers and add them together. So 1 plus 1 is 2. And then we could just continue that. 1 plus 2 would be 3. And then 2 plus 3 would be 5. And so on and so forth. But in mathematics, we use something to go ahead and actually put this into a more formal way of writing this. And that's called the recursive formula. So, just to go ahead and help us out, I have our uh, recursive sequences, and we use something called arrays. Now, n stands for the number that would go right here. So you have u sub n, and basically whatever number, this is like saying this is x and this is y. So this would just replace this number. Whatever we have u sub, the n equal to, that would replace that one. So this represents u sub 1, which is equal to 0. U sub uh, u sub 0 is actually equal to 0. U sub 1 is equal to 1. U sub 2 is equal to 1. U sub 3 is equal to 2. And, you know, we just keep on going. And actually, I have it right here. U sub 0 is equal to 0. And we just keep on going with that one. Now, to put together the formula, we're having to tell, the, uh, tell whoever using this uh, algorithm how to put it together. So, of course, right here we have it already, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and show you. So we have to go by what was in the original list, 0, 1, 1, uh, 0, and 1. This represents u sub 0. This represents u sub 1. Now, what did the, what did the uh, algorithm say? You take the two previous numbers and you add them together. So, u sub, to get u sub 2, we have to basically take u sub 1 plus u sub 0. And that will give us whatever u sub zero, 2 is. And so, of course, that's u sub 2 is equal to uh, 1 plus 0. And that gives me u sub 2 equal to 1. So we're going to start formalizing. We're going to start changing this. So u sub uh, to get u so so we're going to be looking at this to get two. It's going to be involved with this one. So two is equal to one plus or minus whatever we put right here. So we're going to be doing this. Actually, I'm not doing this correctly. Okay, so let's see. 2 is equal to, to get, whoa, wait a minute. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm not thinking right. So we have 1 is equal to 2 plus or minus whatever number. So right here, since we went down, we went down to 1. We're going to be subtracting. So 1 is equal to 2 minus 1. And that gives us this one. So that's going to give you uh, 1 right here. So that would be 1 and 1. So I would be replacing the 2 with n. So that tells me right here, u sub n is equal to u sub n minus 1. Because right here, since we're going one, uni uh, one place back, we're just subtracting 1 from that. And right over here, since, we're subtract since this is equal to 2, we have to do u sub n minus 2. And this will continue the sequence. And we're going to have to say a couple of things where, because we have to have a couple of starting points, u sub 0 is equal to 0, and u sub 1 is equal to one.
and we have n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then so on and so forth. And so that's about it for this arithmetic sequence. So that's how you put this together. Now, for a linear, say for instance we have y is equal to 3x plus 4. For a linear equation, we can actually put this together into a um, into a uh, of a recursive sequence. So we're going to be changing a few things. This is actually our starting point. So this would be our u sub zero. So we can go ahead and put that together. So u sub 0 is equal to 4 on this. Then, since we're multiplying by 3, it's like saying we're adding 3 each and every time. So u sub n is equal to plus 3. And then we go ahead and have whatever right here, so that would be u sub n minus 1. Because whatever was in the previous part of the sequence, we're going to be adding 3 to it. And we're starting off with 4. And n is equal to 0, 1, 2, so on and so forth. And that's about it. And it's just that this works out this way. This is what we call an explicit form. The linear formula is actually an explicit form. We always have this right here for anything linear. So b is always our starting point for u sub 0. m is whatever we're adding. So since it says multiplying, we're going to be adding. So we have u sub n. And this is always the same. We'll talk about exponentials later. Well, you could say that one. But I'll, I'll go ahead and say that for another day. Thank you very much. See you guys.